Tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Ooh, this Jars. Do you crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? <laughs> you knew I wanted to drain all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadows' respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The Lord of Shadows. That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that jar by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. Fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not.
you all right? Nice! I'll never be the Lord of Shadow right hand man if I can't even beat the likes of you lot. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. <sighs> We'll find out soon enough, huh? Huh, <laughs> right. Time to get my magic back. to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. But then why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. there. Don't worry, you're safe now. We took care of that potty old fathead and his cronies. Thanks. I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? your poor little daughter all on her own, hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't think. We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. Oh. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. 
I'm Noah, by the way. Noah, huh? Where have I heard that name before? <laughs> oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. You can say that again. Very fishy. at last, huh? And now we're up. It's time to continue our little talk from before about Serena and I and how we're going to help you. Hmm. We have a legend in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. It's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not to reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big map? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says, honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remembered where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the World Tree? Wonderful! man who keeps bringing you drinks must be getting tired. Uh, just uh, one more for the uh, road, sweetie. You never know. He might uh, have some hot gossip that I uh, need to hear. <laughs> Fishing for rumours, huh? Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> and what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have walloped a lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. <sighs> she... kind of. Anyway, 
we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, then. Eh? On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert when we came down with a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the Sultan's Bleeding Palace. Oh, talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was, this rainbow-coloured branch thing. Oh, shimmery and beautiful. Well, I know Top End Gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Yggdrasil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. <laughs> We should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. to Galopolis. The guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities.
Play with ponies if you like. Oh, let Mr. Moody No Fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. <laughs> 